Edgar here. I want to give a give a review, and I'll show you a range report on you know one of those particularly wonderful Smith and Wesson revolvers. This is a Smith and Wesson Model 13. The Model 13 and the Model 19 are very similar, uh, with only one exception, and it's the sights. In a sense, the Model 13 is the Model 19 with the fixed sights. They're both the 357 Magnum. Uh, have they're a K frame uh, functioning functionally they're uh, very very similar it's just the sights now this is the classic model 13 with a three inch barrel uh, for the long for a very long time uh, the FBI issued this this particular handgun to their agents it carried well it was a good size and even with a three inch barrel uh, those guys could really do some serious shooting. I'll show you that it is, in fact, uh, unloaded. And uh, just do a little bit on the trigger. Classic Smith & Wesson, single action, astonishing smoothness. Double action, again, wonderfully smooth. Uh, I have, a, I have a, a real serious love affair with Smith & Wesson revolvers. To me, they are just about the perfect handgun. They feel great in my hand. I don't have a large hand. Uh, they shoot extremely well. Their triggers are as sweet as pretty much anything that you're going to find out there. You notice that this one really has quite a bit of wear. I picked this up from um, a fellow I met who had it, and it had an you know, enormous amount of uh, the holster wear. Basically, it was a truck gun of his that he carried, and uh, there was almost no no internal wear because it didn't shoot it much. It just got the wear on the barrel, the bluing. As a note, I don't know if uh, many of you look for um, used revolvers, but one thing to check when you do look at a used revolver is to see how well it locks. And a simple check on that is to cock the hammer, hold on to the trigger, let the hammer down, and while you're still holding the trigger, try to wiggle the cylinder. If there's very little play in there, then you've got a nice tight gun. If that cylinder will move significantly, and there's going to be a tiny bit of wiggle, but if that cylinder is, not, is fairly tight, then you've got a good handgun. If it's loose, then you've got a locking problem and you really, you probably don't want to pick that up. This guy is nice and tight. It shoots tight groups and I'm going to give you a, show you a range uh, report on it that shows you just how well she shoots. As usual, you almost can't go wrong with a Smith & Wesson revolver. Anyway, let's go take a look at the range.